Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts and normally close contacts. So let's start. Example 1. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And if switch 3 is on, then motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3 will be off. <coughs> it means in the beginning when switch 1 is turned on, all the motors, all the three motors will turn on. And then when switch 2 is turned on, motor 3 will be turned off, but motor 1 and motor 2 still remain on. And then when switch 3 is turned on, then all the three motors will be turned off. So for switch 1, we will use normally open contacts and for switch 2 and switch 3, we will use normally closed contacts. So now let's move to TI Porter version 16 where we will draw the ladder diagram for this example and also do the simulation. So this is the interface of TI Porter version 16. Let's go to PLC tags and then default tag table. Uh, let's add these uh, inputs and outputs. So for input, I will add switch 1. And then I need to add switch 2 and switch 3. So I will click here and drag it to here. Okay. And then it will be I 0.0, .0 then it will be I 0 0.1, then it will be I 0 0.2. And then I need to add outputs motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3. So I will write here motor 1. And I will change it to Q 0 0.1. It will be Q 0 and bit number will be 0. And then I will drag it like this. And then motor 2, motor 3 will be automatically fetched with the addresses also. So let's minimize this. And then we will draw the latter logic. So here, Let's insert normally open contact. It's, uh, it can be inserted by double clicking on it. And then I will insert a normally close contact and then a coil. And then here I will insert this option open branch. <coughs> Sorry. Let's undo this. And then here I will insert this. That is close as close branch or open branch. And then I will insert a coil, double click on it. And then one more open branch. And then a normally close contact and a coil. So for this, I will uh, select it from this drop down list. It will be switch one. And then it will be here. It will be switch 2 and then it will be switch 2, switch 3 and these will be motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3. Motor 1 and then motor 2 and then motor 3. So what happens is that when switch 1 is turned on, the current will flow through it and motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3 will turn on. As switch 3 here and switch 2 here is used as normally closed contact in false state, it will allow current to flow through it and as a result motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3 will be on. And then if switch 2 is turned on, it will not a low current to flow through it as a result motor 3 will turn off but motor 1 and motor 2 will remain on and then when switch 3 is turned on 
This normally closed contact will not allow to allow current to flow through it. As a result, all the motors, motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3 will be turned off. So now let's uh, uh, click on the simulation, start simulation. I will click on it, then OK. I will wait for it. And then load. Yes. I will click on load and then finish. And then I will click on go online. And then I will click on this option monitoring on or off. Let's wait for it. And then I will click on this. Switch to project view. And then we need to create a new project here. Click on create. It is creating the project. Then click on simulation tables and simulation table or add a new simulation table. And then I will right click here and then load project tax. So now we can start the simulation. So here we have switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3. So when I turn on, so here, when I turn on switch 1, then motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3, all the motors will turn on. As you can also see here, motor 1 is true, motor 2 is also true and motor 3 is also true. And then when switch 2 is turned on, when I turn on switch 2, then motor 3 will be turned off. As you can see here, motor 3 is false and the other two motors, motor 1 and motor 2 are true. And then when I turn on switch 3, all the motors turned off. Motor 1, motor 2 and motor 3 all are turned off. So in this way, we can use normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. It was all about this video. Thank you for watching.